Hello and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a very sensitive topic. We will be talking about the Freemasonry and some of the Zionists who has been harassing me, literally harassing me, I don't call it even encounters, since more than 10 years now. I will be exposing their ways of how they try to win people. I will expose their ways about how to subdue them if they fail to tempt them and what kind of psychological war and chain and effort they might do to kind of target your belief system and even question your own roots and what you know about your family history and where you're coming from. So please stay tuned because this I think a video that is relevant not only to myself but to everyone who I believe are afraid or yet to be exposed to this kind of encounters as we are in coming into times where the efforts of the young people like us is of a high value the awareness is spreading the awareness about what is good what is evil is well known that's why they are trying to censor us censor us in everything on every platform and so hear myself coming, talking in the voice of all those who might be afraid to speak about their encounters and to tell my people, but I'm not even excluding anyone in here, but especially the Palestinian, because I'm a Palestinian, that this message is for you too. My story started almost 10 years ago when I was in university I was working for a project the professor told us can you do some work for a hydraulic system so I decided I like complicated stuff I have an innovative mind so I decided to choose a very difficult topic that got the attention of the person who was working in our town here I want to note that even a shop owner, a very small shop owner, or even a cashier, he can be hired by those people. That's how they make sure to reach the candidate that they want everywhere. So I rejected to join the Freemasonry, only then to be sent girls, mainly bitches, I don't know why they keep sending bitches when I tell them I don't like one night stands. I don't like bitches. But seems they like bitches anyhow. And that's the only girls that uh, they agree to, you know, hang around with this kind of uh, people. After that, I started to have encounters with very high people from all sort of uh, backgrounds in politics, in economy, in business, all promising you a bright future, money, wealth, you name it. But nothing for free. That's what you, you always need to know. That you not have to know that either you will be controlled through sex tapes, like they're doing it with most of the people in authority right now. Either they will put you under debt. And so when they give you a generous offer, <laughs> They will make sure to be their slave, their puppet for life. And that's the story of every person you see in the world who had nothing and they became someone. No one become as rich as you might see an example like Elon Musk and the, uh, Bill Gates and the all other Facebook, Twitter owner without them being either willingly subjugating themselves or they are being held on from their neck they cannot do anything of their minds and that's why by the way you would see most of them saying oh we're gonna give our uh you know well for charity after retirement <laughs> how e what what's the best way to hide where the money is going well where there is no taxes where is no taxes in charity organization that's when they bring back the money that they made for the real owners because they are just a puppet 
they look good, fit, very good at in, uh, giving speeches. They are very good at in kind of convincing people. And so the real owners hiding all the time behind the screen. Back to my topic. So after they fail at giving you all those nice promises, money, wealth, girls, Playboy membership as well, you name it. They start to target what? Your belief system. Because if you have a belief in a benevolent God and not their God and the way they do their, their businesses, reaching their goal through evilnesses, they know that they have to strip you away from your belief. Because if you have good standing character and a living conscious, not a dead conscious when they see money go like a dog after it, they would try to change that. But if they couldn't, they would try another way. And here I want the Palestinians to focus with me. They will tell you, oh, did you know that? You have a Jewish root. I am Palestinian for a generation. Nobody came to my family member told them that you are Jew. Well, just because they see something in me that fits their agenda, they discover somehow I'm of a Jewish root that I'm not even aware about. Well, hello, I'm from human Adam root as well. We're all coming from one single source. Get over it. So when they will tell you you have a Jewish root, you start to question yourself who I am. Oh, I have a Jewish root. Oh, okay, I can claim what all the benefits that Jews are having right now from their real master. By the way, the Jews are just home slaves in today's world for the real masters. So you would claim I should gain money. Oh, no, I should gain also positions. Oh, by the way, you are not just a Jew from the Levite. The Levite, you know what's the Levite back in history? They didn't used to work. They were the messengers of God. And so everyone has to work for them and their money will come to them because their focus should be only God. And I was like, hmm, you should now put a billion dollars in my bank account, please, if I'm a Levite. They tell you, no, 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 the rules changed, and, but still, if you work hard, you can get whatever you want. Of course, if you sell your soul, you get whatever you want. And so, this harassment didn't stop. After all their attempts failed, they start to attack you at your working place. I was working in an international company where I was approached from three Freemasons. Back in Turkey, people thinking Turkey is a Muslim country. It's run by the Zionists, for God's sake. But that's another topic for another day, if I felt I have to. They, then they would try to push you out of the company. And so from one hand, they give you money, opportunity. Other way, they try to push you, to push you, push you so that you will fall in that trap. And if you don't have enough believe in God, the beloved God, not the one who tried to enforce his way through evilness, you would might fall very easily. I am a Palestinian, but I'm not only Palestinian. In my blood, I can be Palestinian. I can be anyone for those who are being subjugated to killing, to stealing their lands. I am, I am the one who are on the weak side, preferring them to be with the strong and the evil ones. I hope my message to those societies and who has been contacting me since 10 years and more, that these efforts it only get me to believe more and more in God. And I'm using now this channel that I have pub, uh, opened to share, share knowledge, 
a knowledge that has been lost in thousands of years. With the blessing of God, I was able to decode. And this even made them want me even more and more because from this knowledge, there is a very high advanced technology it can be created from. For those in the know, they will understand what I'm talking about. But what they want from me is to shut down this channel. Don't share this information. That shouldn't be shared with everyone. Because their God wants the few to know. But our God, the God of the Muslims, the Christian and the Jew, the one who sent the Bible, the Torah and the Quran. Because they know and they told me that the he is one and the same. That's exactly what all these Muslims used to say. But for them, the God of the Christian, the Muslim and the Jew is a devil. And their God, Lucifer, is the benevolent God. I hope that those who are following our current time on what's happening in the world, they would realize that the, as I am, I'm a Muslim, but I've also got inspired from many Christians who had the courage to come out online and speak. Last one was a police man from the US who came out and he spoke about how he uh, realized that Freemasonry is all about worshiping Lucifer. And so many other people, Polish, other nationals and here I am I'm talking to the young guys keep holding to your faith if you stay poor better be poor than rich and being your soul being sold to the devil because you will lose in this life and in the afterlife and that's what they want you from you they never want the good for, for you no matter how nice talk they come with you no matter how much they offer you from money. No, there is nothing. Nothing is for free. And the more the money, the higher the position, the more you will be, you should understand that you will be willing to compromise on your soul. The most precious thing God has given you. And when you understand what that means, you'll understand that this is cannot be sold for no wealth in the whole world they might try to give you. Another message I want to end this short video with. First, to, to my people, the Palestinians, who are suffering since more than 70 years, the occupation by the Israelis, and to the people of the world. First, let me start with the Palestinians. I'm making this video not only to give awareness to the people, but also to warn my Palestinian people. Never, no matter how difficult your life can become because of their evil deeds, never fall to them. And if I came out online so that I can live, leave a, f a face print, let's say, on the internet to tell people if you see their face later on in the future and he became in a very high position an unbelievable wealth he acclaimed for someone like me who came coming from a very moderate even below average know that I have been sold my soul to the devil and you should never listen to me never follow any of what I suggest or don't believe or anything I would that come would can come out from this mouth. Because if I would be saying anything at that time, if I would become rich and powerful, know that I'm actually speaking on behalf of your suppressor. And to the other people in the whole world. People of faith, faith in the good, people who have faith 
in the in the righteous way we should claim power and we should attain and sustain a good living we are all in this fight don't think ever that we are just on the side note of what's really going on every person in his position he should feel entitled to fighting this evilness that's trying to spread its arms everywhere many lodges of freemasonry has been closed recently in the US almost a hundred lodge in the last couple of two, uh, years last year I think it was more than hundred so what they are trying to do recruit more people but the awareness is there the people are being awakened to the reality of those people the evil reality that ask you to blindfold yourself give an oath on your soul for something you don't even know what's coming ahead of you in that journey don't you have some dignity don't you have some morality that prevents you from someone just because he's rich and powerful to blindfold you that's how they used to enslave others look at the history and for the for everyone who think the jews are really running the show you're mistaken just a small historical fact history in the first times there was one tribe willing always to sell their souls that's what they who were actually close to the pharaoh and they were used to subjugate the other tribes and that's why you see this conflicting information about the Jews they were actually being enslaved and but the other they say no they were not that's the Levite that's what they claim that I'm from <laughs> but hell I would never sell my soul to, the, to your masters the same happened in the Roman time when part of the Jews one tribe in a free tax you know and other privilege also to be used like they have been used some of the Jews on high level very elite level to kill their own people and the Jew that I spoke with they know this fact for true they know it's true but they are afraid to speak and if not not afraid to speak because oh their master in this in this era they are happy with them they're giving him money position everything okay we forget about history forget about the king herod and how they subjugated the jew they forget about the how they like destruct their and demolish their temple and <laughs> last message to the jew i'll say if you really think that you will build your third temple based on the values of the torah <laughs> you're mistaken your time will come when your masters who sent you to do their evil deeds they will come and establish their pagan temple not the one will be worshiping god this is the first part of the series i will speak about my experience trying to give awareness to people i am doing this uh, for a profitable thing here i'm actually exposing the people that this should be exposed I'm putting myself in risk, but I don't care. And you know it. I know I'm talking to you, not the people. I'm talking to those who always were after me. You know I don't care about your power or the control that you have. There is more powerful than you. There is God, the God of who created all of us, who created this whole universe. You're no bigger than him. You're no powerful than him. Learn from history. Learn before it's too late. Goodbye.